<laughs> Ladies, why does Forrest G have his sister's shorts on today? Because we don't have shorts! Where's his shorts? In the laundry! Marquitos don't... Uh, don't... 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 <laughs> Can you tell everybody what you're watching that's so interesting? Um, see Nemo. Huh? See Nemo. Hello! Ah, I didn't see that in the Oh man, it's a private residence. I want to welcome you to today's meal that I'm going to prepare for supper. And I'm going to be cooking in the slow cooker. And basically what I'm working with today, my friends, a nice piece of pork. And all I've, all I've done is uh, put some uh, lemon pepper on there. Just lemon pepper rub and shout out to Janice for preparing everything. Working with a little cabbage, some greens, some corn. Obviously we got onions and uh, garlic. And all I want to do, stuff everything in the slow cooker. Put that bad boy on high. I'm getting a late start, it's like one o'clock, so I gotta I get kick that on high. I'll be done by six or so, I guess. Thanks for joining me on today's little cooking show. I'm gonna get two Yeti cups full of water here uh, for my measuring cup. All right, there's one. And there's two cups of water. So I kick that bad boy on high. All I'm gonna do is take that pork that's already been rubbed down. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that hunk of meat right there. My goodness, going just right in the pot. Okay, put that bad boy right in the pot. Folks, it ain't rocket science. I come in here with the onions and the garlic. Oh yeah, look at that. Pretty simple. What we got? We got cabbage. Look at those flakes of cabbage. My goodness, how can you not love cabbage? Put those bad boys down in there. Make it all nice and, oh, man, I had a piece of cabbage take a nose dive. That's not good. Oh, shit. Nah, Yeti cup about took a nose dive. All right, so just kind of make that a little bit decorative around the roast. Look at there, got some ears of corn. Oh, yeah, that's good looking corn, folks. All right, got potatoes. One, two, three, four, five potatoes. And I'll lay the greens on top. Get a little color to it. Look at that. Put that one more Yeti cup of water in there. And we got the Nor pork cubes. And today those are all four pork cubes. So I'm gonna put 40 cubes in there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put two packs of pepper in there. I don't think we need four. Let's put two of these packs of pepper. That's uh, four of the pork nor flavor cubes. Whoa, whoa, doing the leaning tower of pizza on me. Boom, and in they go. I like to get them down in there in the drink right away. Get down in the drink, my friends. Spread them bad boys out a little bit. You give me two of them peppers there, baby. Got the beautiful Janice here assisting. Baby, what you, you did an unauthorized stir in my stew there. It's a grave infraction. All right, folks, got two two packets of the pepper. Uh, was that, maybe a half a big spoon, if you wanna know what the recipe is. There we go, got the pepper going in there. Get a little juice up there, push that in. All right, so there we go. That's what we're working with. Pretty simple. There's a lot of salt in those cubes. But I will come in here with a little bit of salt. Now that's just to recycle uh, Tostitos. I'll give it one little, one little sprinkle of salt on there. Make that two little sprinkles. Two little sprinkles from the uh, upcycle, recycle 
Man, that Tostito Salsa Con Queso from ba uh, Bingo's Bakery. Delicious. Slice of Americana. Folks, that's pretty much it. That's that's pretty much all I'm going to go with now. Put the, put the top on that bad boy. And, man, that thing's already hot. And push it back way over here so it's out of the way. There you go, right there, folks. That's going to be tonight's dinner. And I'm going to put a couple more ingredients, but not now. Because I will serve no rhyme before it's time. Let's check on this, this masterpiece here with the pork. It's already dark outside. I think it's about six o'clock. This thing's been doing a little shake, rattle, and roll all day. This thing's, you know, you just do that little all day long. Oh yeah! My goodness! My goodness! My goodness. The ladies are taking a nap. Unauthorized nap, but they're going to be so proud of this when they wake up. Alright folks, thanks for joining me on today's video. I don't know if I'll just post this short clip to say hello. And, hey, we're still alive here in the Philippines. Or if I'll run this into another day video. Because we didn't do shit today. It's just the way it is. But folks, my soup is, uh, is going to be a big, huge success. I'm just going to kick it over on low right now while I'm talking to you guys. Like I said, it's been on, on high all day, so I'll kick it over on low and just let it simmer for a little bit. And by the time uh, Fatima Force G wakes up, that dinner's going to be ready. Baby, tell them how delicious my soup was the other day. Be honest. Yeah, it's delicious. See there, folks? Wife number two just told you it's absolutely delicious. Uh, baby, you want to get some rice going on? Yeah. Now, folks, here's the thing. When I make this soup, we got bread. I'm like, look, just pour pour your soup over the bread, you know, uh, with the beef. I mean, it makes like a little, you know, like gravy and loaf bread. They don't want to eat nothing with bread. They want the rice. Even though I made this big pot of soup, we're going to make a big pot of rice for these ladies. So, baby, why don't you get the rice fired up? Look at that face. That's a sleepy Filipina face right there. Baby, get the, get the rice fired up so that way when Ate wakes up, you know, Filipina who wakes up a hungry is going to be in a bad mood to you feed or something. So let's get that rice going when they wake up. They're going to be ready to chow down. My honey, honey stick outside today. Look at that beautiful sunset going on over there. So started out cloudy, still a few clouds, but just beautiful, beautiful evening. I think I'm gonna have to go for a walk on the beach. Damn, this joker got every dog in the neighborhood stirred up, walking around yelling barbecue. What the hell is going on? Hey, Sushi ladies. Ladies, no fighting, no fighting, ladies. You're watching the ABCs? Oh, oh drink. Some juice, buddy. Oh, wife number one of the day. Baby, get that laundry, baby. I don't want to hurt my back going down these stairs. Huh? In fact, it might look like she's going to the club, but we're going to the... Maybe. Look, da! Ano, Marquitos? Da! Ang tawag dito? Da, ano tawag yan? Ang pilikili mo? What? The underarms is black. Maybe. I'm not looking at her underarms, okay? Ang itim na sa... Bye, buddy. We'll be back in a few minutes, okay? Love you. Marquitos, bye, mango, ha? Baby, I'm going to the post office. I'm not buying a mango. Makitas, the long trigger. Pasok po, ma'am. Wala pong tip. Bye.
<laughs> Close the door. Give him one kiss. Ay, siya na magsarado ng kiss. Tay! Sarado mo pito. Close the door. Oh. <laughs> Right, folks. Got Jason on the tricycle. What we got on the top? Is that trash or laundry? Oh, that's laundry up there. What's up, buddy? Red or rye? Folks, once again, rolling out in the tricycle. Headed up to Subic Town to pick up a, another package from one of you guys. Uh, I suspect it's from my buddy in California. Shout out to you, brother, but I'm not sure. Just get a text from the post office. They said, we got a package up there. Come on up, pick it up. I said, I'm on my way, my friends. Thanks for sending me the text. I mean, it's like, the, the, they're so good to me up there at the post office. Um, they really are. Just good people up there, always taking care of me. Just shout out to them. That's where we're headed. Folks, if you're not a subscriber on my channel, right down there in the bottom right hand corner of your screen, I want you to hit that Overstay Road sign. And get on board my train. Food, beer, visas, bad behavior, barbecue. Big booties, beautiful ladies. And a lot of beer drinking. Huh? Yeah. And Filipinas always stealing my money. Better give me my money. <laughs> All right, folks, we're coming out of uh, Beloy Beach. We're gonna cut a left up here and navigate the checkpoint. Thanks for joining us, my friends. I love each and every one of you. And thanks to all 28,400 plus folks that have subscribed to our channel. Here we go. stupid we look wearing these things. Oh, you look stupid if you do that. If you, it's <laughs> so nicely. Okay, you're not looking stupid. Ah! Folks, first stop, you know, always drop off the laundry first because she'll get it back to me in a couple hours if I want to. Then head up to Subitown, pick up the, the package from you guys, and I want to say thank you very much up front, whoever sent it. I think it's my buddy from California again. So, yeah, so we just stop by here, drop off our laundry. The lady does a great job right here across from Magdalena Homes, if you're not familiar. And uh, folks, I got wife number one on the camera. She's doing a great job on the camera. All right, picking up my change. So I gave her 500. She gave me 320 back. So what is that? Uh, 180. So 180 pesos on our laundry. Just one bag today. Folks, that's less than four US dollars. On uh, wash, dry, coal. She does a great job. All right, here we go off to the next stop. So I'm going to try to narrate this little ride. Got the trash truck off to the left side of the aircraft right here. Shout out to them gentlemen doing a tough job. Right over here is the turn off to the uh, White Rock Beach Resort by that 7-Eleven. Got this gentleman right here to the right side of the aircraft doing some scrapping activities. 
and it is a bumpy bumpy ride I know that the footage oh it's not buttery smooth like it is with the GoPro or the Osmo pocket that's reality here You're riding these trikes it's not always a smooth ride you get bounced around in here sometimes you feel like you're a damn kernel of popcorn inside a popcorn popper but that's just life folks that's reality coming into this turn caught up in a little lap traffic there yeah it looks like looks like we got a little more lap traffic in front of us Farmer for rent, 20k per month. That sign off to the right side of the aircraft said uh, 20,000 is roughly 400 US dollars per month. Purified drinking water off to the right side. Oh, we got Rick and Racer coming in at a slow roll on the inside in the Harley rolling out okay now I see what was holding up traffic number 28 car here pedal power that's what was holding us up there coming through this little little market area all right now we're coming up on this area where you can go too wide you can too, go too wide coming around a turn too over here to the left side is the Bulalo place Two and two scuba beach resort where we get a good bootalo but this turn right here is where people try to jockey for position not too much traffic right now looks like everybody came single file except for that great minivan up there tried to jockey a position on the outside but today is kind of calm no ricky racers coming up on us Got a little fresh concrete poured over to the right for a sidewalk. Again, these buildings, the front of them are shaved off because of the road widening project. Another Rick and Racer sliding in there. Strike terminal. And we'll be coming into Sumi Town and Oaks to the right. First stop be the post office to pick up this here package. And then we're gonna go to the Palinki. We'll go to the Palinki. Maybe look for some shrimp, see what kind of shrimp yeah. they got over there. But you might as all excited about going to the Palinki. All right, folks, pulling into the municipal city hall here and right back there. Again, if you've never seen any of my videos, that's where the uh, post office is, right back there. All right, folks, rolling through the market here, looking for some shrimp with beautiful wife number one. I'm going to let her go check it out. She's going to look. What you looking for, baby shrimp? Hello. What is shrimp here? You want the big ones? All right, so these are 600 a kilo. That's $12 a kilogram or six US dollars per pound. And these are how much? Okay, so 560 on those, that's 10, 11, uh, like 11, well, cheaper, cheaper than 12 bucks. All right, so we're going with one kilo of the bigger ones here, folks. They just looked a little bit fresher. All 
All right, you put them up there in the scale. That's it, a little bit over one kilo. And let me show you what else this young lady's got over here. Oh, she's got yellowfin tuna, and those look fresh. Honey, how much a uh, yellowfin here? 300. 300. One kilo. So, 300. All right, so 300 for one kilo of the yellowfin, which is... Uh, 300 is... Uh, Six dollars. So six dollars a kilo. That's three dollars a pound on the yellowfin. How much is the squid? How much? Two hundred. Oh, two hundred. So two hundred on the squid per kilo. That's four U.S. dollars. So two bucks a pound. And then how much are these guys here? Two forty. Okay, so two forty. So we decided to go with the yellowfin. So one kilo is three hundred. All right, so that's a one kilo fish right there. All right, so she got the fish and the shrimp. Yeah, let's get the vegetables while we're here. Figure out where she's gonna land. We don't really have a favorite vegetable vendor over here. We always go to the same shrimp fish lady. I don't know what the uh, the science is or the art of her searching for the vegetables, folks. Mm-hmm. Well, folks, they got some good-looking broccoli. Did you get the tomatoes? Yeah. Yeah, those tomatoes look good. The garlic looks good. They're, uh, dude, everything looks here. Everything looks good here. Look at all this stuff. We found a nice little gem of a spot. Just check this out. Their onions are fresh. Peppers are fresh. Oh, look at them, some good-looking potatoes. Folks, these are, these are the best vegetables I've seen in a long time right here. And how much are the bell peppers? All right, so three twenty per kilo on the bell peppers. That's $6.40, roughly, per kilo. So a little over three dollars a pound on the on the bell peppers. Yeah, get some of them tiny corns, baby. Oh yeah, get got to go with the celery. <laughs> Folks, there's exactly twenty dollars in vegetables. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. All right, we will, my friend. So she's got exactly twenty U.S. dollars. Well, not exactly, but roughly. It's twenty bucks in vegetables here at the Subic Town Market. The mango. So the mango? Mm. The green mango. Where's the mango at? I think it's there. What do we need now, baby? Mango like this. <laughs> ah, this is the mango she's wanting. 200 kilos. How much? 200 one kilo. So 200 per kilo. That's uh, four U.S. dollars per kilo, or roughly two bucks a pound on the mangoes. It's only a... Alright folks, so we just spent exactly, well, I keep saying exactly, roughly 40 US dollars. We spent about 20 Let's see, we spent 26 on everything in that bag right there. It's about 20 on the vegetables and an extra $6 on the mangoes. And then we spent roughly, what is that? Was that 14 bucks? This one is 600. 600, so 12 on this. This one is uh, 300. And six on that. 
So there you go. There's roughly what we spent here at the Subic Market. Now let me give you a look around. These beautiful boats right next to the market. All these little fishing boats. So many different colors. I don't know if you can see all the tilapia in here. But again, everywhere you go in these rivers, there's so much tilapia. But everybody has a perception that they're basically shit river fish. They don't want to eat them. The old lady doesn't want to eat them. I mean, nobody I know wants to eat these fish out of the river, but there's so many of them. The ones over by SBMA are huge. The ones over in here are sort of smaller. But if you really got hungry, there are plenty of fish here to be caught in these rivers, these backwaters. And I'll just give you a view of the, of the Subic Market. Really nice facility compared to a lot of the markets that you go to here in the Philippines. It's you know newer building. Them old dogs right there. All right, folks. Thanks for joining us on the tour of the Subic Market here in Subic Town, Zambales Province in the Philippines. They've actually got this traffic routed now where it's just a one way. It makes sense to just go around the building in one direction. So, you know, I'll kind of leave it up to you, the viewer, to decide if food prices in the Philippines are cheaper than where you're living. A lot of you guys comment and say, man, the food here in the U.S. is cheaper. And a lot of things, that's, you're absolutely right. Ooh, bad smell through there. <laughs> smell, big old whiff of sewer coming through there. Now you go over to Thailand, food is significantly cheaper than it is over here. I mean, I think the dollar's down compared to the bot right now, but um, food is cheaper in Thailand. My experience. I know this footage is a little bit bumpy, but it's because the road is a little bit bumpy. It's good to see that they took down this, uh, uh, the Rona waiting area. It's so good to see that, that that ridiculousness is gone. There, if you're looking for some fresh buco, right here coming out, you just pull off and, uh, hit any one of these stands they got fresh buco we used to have some friends over there but it seems like every time we go there it's just different people It's so bumpy through here. That was a rough ass ride coming through that driveway. I ain't gonna lie to you. Well, let's talk about food prices. Food prices and cost of living. Now, everybody's situation is different. I hate even throwing around the term cost of living because it's so subjective. But it is the, the key word that everybody searches and everybody gravitates to. They want to know the cost of living. But it's, it's so subjective. If you come over here as a single guy, single guy who don't drink, don't party, well, yeah, you can live pretty cheap. You know, when I was backpacking around by myself back in the day, I hardly spent any money on food. Just grab a barbecue stick and a little thing of rice. You're good to go. Keep going. Keep rolling. You know, dirt cheap. Wait, now here I am. I'm, by, I'm, I'm not by myself anymore. It's me. I got two hungry, hungry Filipinas. <laughs> and you know, it's funny because if you remember that that game, Hungry Hungry Hippos, I should start a new game called Hungry Hungry Filipinas. Because these ladies eat all day long. You know, I got a growing baby boy, and then when my daughter's here, 
know, we share food with folks. So, you know, our food bill, if you follow us and you see what we spend, is significantly higher than if you come over here as a single dude, you know, trying to live on the cheap. But again, everybody's situation is different. Nobody's situation is going to be the same. Month to month, our food bill is not the same. And month to month, vegetable prices change. Not all of them, but some of them do. And some of them change significantly. So cost of, cost of living, it's hard to budget when it comes to food. If that makes any sense. There's so many different variables. Yeah, you can budget your rent. You can say, all right, this is all I'm gonna pay. You know, sign a 12 month lease. Okay, you know what you're paying for rent. But you know, your food needing out, that's subjective and it's gonna change from month to month. All I can do is show you what we're doing and hope that it helps. options roughly uh, nine US dollars looks like 450 pesos for two whole chickens now those are the jumbo chickens a little bit bigger than the not too much bigger but they're bigger than the smaller ones but nine bucks on two chickens two whole chickens but those those whole chickens did us well if I'm putting them in the crock pot it's feeding all four of us at night and it feed the baby in the morning got good soup left over from last night so that works out really well for us and out of the out of the beef the chicken and the pork soup for me the chicken soup was the best what about yeah. you yeah the chicken put cooking that whole chicken in there just made the best broth the best soup um, I was kind of looking for the crock pot slow cooker to cook beef and pork but out of the backfield came the whole chicken. Oh my gosh, I'm just dreaming about making up another batch of it. That's how delicious it was. Thinking about maybe trying to change it up with a little coconut flavor. You want to try some coconut chicken? Fuck oh. it. I like that people. I'm going to make some spicy coconut chicken, baby. Oh. You got one option with me, baby. That's to love it. Mm. I love it. <laughs> And of course we have to pull into bingo. Oh. Baby, baby, save, don't eat that now. Wait till we get home. All right, folks, uh, five dollars, five dollars and fifty cents at the bingo bakery. A couple things of bread, some nacho chips. showed him his hand. Yeah, yeah, do like this. So he thought that he made it. My goodness. Alright folks, headed back to the condo. I think we're going to go down to Kevin's this afternoon. Yeah. We can go down and see Kevin and not to Carla. Yeah. Yeah, see what they're up to. We'll see you later, buddy. Okay. Thank you, man. The, I so get my like, juice marky thoughts. Of course, G, you were naughty while we were yeah. gone. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Why you were naughty, um, buddy? Get one. All right, folks. And of course, she's gonna try these out. This is from no. Bingo's Bakery. Get one. I'm um. And it's some um, type of cheesy bite. Oh, good Let's job. see if I'm liking it. 
See if that cheesy bite is 4G approved. Mm. You like it? Oh, mm. you don't cry, cry, na, huh? Yeah. He's mm. not the worker. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, sometimes he wants to be naughty and to be naughty. Oh, I'm so rough. Okay, so Forrest G said these things are delicious. And these are, these are from Bingo's Bakery. Cheesy Bites. I can't wait to try one of those. He wants one more. Go. That's all. Oh, buddy. Man, those things must be good. He put the whole thing in his mouth. Oh, my God. Forrest G. Forrest G, man, you don't have to eat the whole thing at once, son. My gosh! That boy is just like his mother. <laughs> How is it, baby? Do you have a butter? It's got butter in it? Yeah. So delicious? Yeah. You gonna try one, honey? Janice? Why not? <laughs> okay, don't try one, baby. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Walk that ledge, man. Be careful. Ah, Whoa! Give one. Mm. Oh, no. Folks, I'm here to tell you these cheesy bites from Bingo's Bakery. Those things right there. Folks, that is absolutely delicious. I can't say enough good things about the lady up there at Bingo's Bakery. This My one. goodness. What is this? Empanada. Empanada from Bingo's Bakery. Pork, pork shop. Pork shop. Okay, itong isa. Oh, dirt. Give to your son, Marquitos. Give that, oh. Fresh yung ano. Gusto ko nga to, oh. Dilaga. Dude, why don't we just shell the shrimp? Why don't we just get the shrimp out of the shell? Yeah. If they have a shell, it's like the shell. Ito, demon. Ano tawag sa yute? Ano? Demonio? Because if they have shell, makitos, it feels like so delicious. If without shell, it's like, uh, uh, ano, or. So, of course, all she's doing is cutting the legs off the shrimp. Yeah. Para walang damage. Walang sabit, walang sagabal. Pag kinain ni ate, pwede na pati balat. <laughs> Bakit ako hinampas mo siya nagsabi? Te! Napin mo ko chili yung malaki. Kasing laki ng mukha. Kasing laki ng mukha ni! Katabi ko. Te, lagay mo. How to chop up a tuna. Ayaw ko ng ano. By wife number two. Ayaw ko ng maraming sagawad. Wait, Marquitos. But that thing won't cut nothing. You need that Bear girl's fake knife. Hee. I told you, eat. Oh, okay. Wait. How many slices you want? Up to you. One for party, ma. Yeah, chopping up that fish properly. Teh, dinawa na ata presi. Huh? This cat here. These damn cats. They come out here and they spray. Try to spray my shoes. That dude done lost his tail somehow. Alright, uh, folks. We just We're trying to get down to the bottom. We're trying to get down to the bottom of real Spanish. Yellow. Versus the gala where they've uh, changed the Spanish, right? So it's a heated conversation. Now, if you talk about the numbers, right? We all agree that zero to nine is the same, pretty much. And look, now look, I'm I, I'm a gringo, but I speak a little bit of Spanish. But okay, Mercy is here. Yes, and she speaks Spanish. Try to speak Spanish. Okay, so here's the debate. Could you please say the number 10 for our viewers? Them. Gis. 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 Not cheese, huh? Gis. Okay, ladies, Gis. listen. Ch 
cheese is what goes on the top of my pizza yeah, for the I know. Okay. Okay, so say it one more time. Cheese. They said cheese. <laughs> now, let's get let's get to the bottom. Can you tell us how to say tin? Yes. 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 And I think we spell it D I E Z. D I E Z. Yes. That's correct. Okay. She pronounced it diez, I pronounce it diez. I think every other Spanish speaker in the world pronounces it diez. Ladies, one more time. What goes on top of a pizza? Yes. 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 That's what goes on top of a pizza. Cheese. Yes. Say mozzarella, you say the number 10. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Mozzarella. Yes. Yay. Okay, one more time. Now, okay, now listen. When I say cheddar, you say the number 10. I know. Cheddar is a. What is Diez. My kids, it's different. The pizza is kiss. It's a heated debate. It's a heated debate. Let me, I got one more test, okay? One more test. Okay, listen. Just, just, just to make sure everybody's clear. When I say Swiss, you say the number 10. Ready? One, two. Right, we're just having some good fun, but you know, the. A lot of words in Tagalog are the, still the same as Spanish. But if I say uh, tra trabajo, right, I think we all agree that means work. If I say zapatos, we all agree that that's shoes, right? Shoes. Same, same. Zapatos, shoes. Shoes. Zapatos. Cuchara. 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 Spoon. Spoon. Tenedor. Okay. Tenedor. Tenedor. Tenedor is Oh. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back to the baby. Of course, G's got all the Cheetos on the That's ground. Uh, it's my pulutan. It's okay. Okay, so let's go it's back. Tell us if I if you want to say left in Tagalog, which is left? Kaliwa. 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 Okay, but Spanish for left is izquierda. Okay, izquierda means here is ano uh, go. Skerda, skerda, go! Magkaya ba yun sa baklaya? Say mo, they didn't go. If they say here. Di ba ang nila? Come on, skerda. I mean, say, halika, skerda. Ah, liar. Okay, alright, so we have a difference here, so. Akala ko ba yung skerda yung ba? Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so skerda in Spanish means left, but here in Tagalog it means let's go. But in Spanish, it's not saying that. That's that's vamos, vamos. You talk the tricycle driver when they say izquierda, izquierda, izquierda. Let's go. I thought it was saying that. Izquierda. Yeah, they can say that in Tagalog, izquierda, Tagalog. But they use sometimes izquierda, izquierda na tayo. Because we was drinking, having a good time. Okay, it's time now. Sing it. Yeah. 
That's like the conversation I have with my ladies every day, like 18 times a day. Where are you going? I know, I know. What do you want to eat? I know, I know. Leo Nelson, I'm going to teach you how it ends. He does, he does, he does. Okay, you dance, you dance. Kevin, dance. Kevin, dance. Kevin, dance. No more. No more of this for you. Let me see if I can play some Black Sabbath on here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Great Tom hanging out, hanging out with uh, Eric, Mercy, and Kevin, and Carla, Fatima, Forrest G, and Janice. Just getting together and having a few drinks with good friends, my friends. I want to thank everybody for joining us on today's video. Headed back to the house. And you know what? I think I don't think I ate anything for dinner. Ladies, did you cook the king any any food or what? You gonna cook for me later? Yeah. What are you gonna make, honey? Oh, sure. folks, they're gonna make shrimp for me. It's a little bit late, but if they're gonna cook, hey, it's all good. All good up in the hood. <laughs> I'll take some late night shrimp. Get them shrimps. Folks, if you're not a subscriber on my channel, right there, hit that Overstay Road sign. Get on board my train. I certainly appreciate it. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out, my friends. Rolling through strong. No casalo? 1.5. Huh? 1.5. That's the plastic? Yeah. No, I want the glass. I want the casalo. Look at the plastic. Get the change. Get the change. Marcos. Boy, get the change. <laughs>